Hey everybody, it's Lindsay and I wanted to show you a couple of the things that I picked up from Sephora last week. Um, I think it was last week or maybe the weekend before. Um, they had their Chic Week 15% off sale for beauty insiders or else it was VIBs, like very important beauty or whatever. I'm not even sure. I just know I got the coupon and so I went and checked it out because I was really excited because I don't think they did this last year and if they did, I didn't know about it. Um, Normally they do their friends and family at the end of the year and then last year they did another thing like right after that. Um, but other than that, they, things they don't really offer sales like that. So I was really excited about this because there was a couple things, well like one thing that I needed and then the other things I just picked up. But um, so the one thing that I went in to get, um, my Dior Skin uh, Forever Flawless Perfection Fusion Wear Makeup and I wear the shade 21 Linen. I love this stuff. This is my old one. Um, it's just, it looks, it looks like skin. This is the newer one. When you put it on, it's not super full coverage, but it looks like skin. It looks really natural. It's a matte finish. Um, doesn't wear the longest, but I mentioned I pair it with, here this, uh, my L'Oreal Studio Secrets Magic Perfecting Base. When I pair it with this, it just helps it last a lot longer. Um, but this I love because it is just my absolute perfect shade and it looks so natural on me because that's one thing for me. Like I'm more hesitant to try other brands sometimes. I mean, I have tons of foundations, but I don't always just jump to try new brands because if I find something that's my perfect shade, I just stick with it because I know I can go for it. So with no tan like I am now, this is my perfect, perfect shade. So I went in to get this and then while I had the 15% off, I wanted to get, um, a darker one so I got what is it 30 I got okay yeah I got shade 30 um, 21 linen the one I already have is like a light lighter skin tone with a yellow undertone because my face has is a little more pink than the rest of my body so I like that yellow to kind of you know even it all out because I don't want my face to look different from the rest of my body um, but I got the 30 which is like neutral medium neutral um, because you know, with summer coming up, I'm going to be self-tanning because if I self-tan even at all, I cannot wear linen. Um, but if I self-tan, that makes, that brings out a little more of the warm tones in my skin or if I'm out in the sun. So I wanted to get a darker one because I like to mix foundations for whatever shade I am, whatever stage of the self-tanning cycle I am at. Um, so I picked that up. But then I kind of was thinking about, it. I'm, I'm just so into really natural skin lately. And I know this is getting like so wordy for one product, but um, so I really want something that looks like skin. I'm kind of into that more dewy finish, but uh, my skin gets oily, so I don't want something that's gonna be, make me look oily. Uh, but sometimes this can maybe even be a little bit drying or too matte. So I picked up 21 and 30 in this. And then I decided, you know what, I was reading reviews and I decided I returned them and exchanged them for this. And this is the Dior Skin Nude Natural Glow Hydrating Makeup. And this is the one that was around before the Forever Flawless. Uh, and it has tons of reviews and they're amazing. People just love it. And this is not a dewy finish at all, um, but it's a little less matte than the Dior Skin, which I like for summer. Not super long wearing, but I just like that natural finish. I'm just... I don't know, right now I'm just really into like a no makeup skin kind of look. I just really like a fresh face. I think it's this like this warm weather we've been having. So I just went and picked up the same shades that I got in the other one, which is, you know, 21 and 30. But look at this, 21 is not the same shade. Here's um, in the one I picked up, here's my old one. You can see, and I think the bottle maybe exacerbates it a little bit more, but this one definitely lighter. So I'm already mixing these, even though I don't use self tan at all, but it's okay. I mean, if I really need to, I can get another shade darker. Um, I'm definitely not 30 all on its own, but mixing them, um, I like, and I can always mix just a darker foundation from another brand, but I am liking this so far, uh, just a little bit more of a natural finish, finish less matte, but you know, I just, I'm really happy with that. So that's what I went in there for and then I decided to look around and I have been seeing on YouTube people talking about the Sephora plus Pantone universe uh, and I've been seeing the lipstick and I didn't realize how many other Pantone products Sephora had this year and I don't know if they did this last year, I don't remember it. Apparently Pantone comes out with like the color of the year every year and this year it is Tangerine tango and I mean if you unless you've been living under a rock or something orange is everywhere and you know orange is everywhere so I'm loving it I'm just having a lot of fun with it so this is one thing 
I wasn't expecting to pick up, but I did. And this is the Sephora Plus Pantone Universe uh, Color of the Year Blush Duo. And this is what it looks like. And it comes in amazing packaging. I don't even have it right now, but it's like kind of packaging like that. Um, like way too much from what it actually is. But this is, I've never seen a blush like this. It's big. Like you could see how much product is in this. Um, and it's a glass or I guess that's plastic lid, but it's magnetic. So it comes off completely and just mag magnetizes back on there, which I just think is really cool. So this blush duo, it's a matte and a shimmery. Here's the shimmery, here's, here's the matte. This is in the color Coral. This is in the color Desert Flower. And it is pretty orange, but like a really nice orange. It's not, it's, it's got like a golden peachy orange. So it's not unwearable at all. I am very fair right now. And so I have to be light handed with this. But seriously, if you are like a caramel skin tone, deep skin tone, this would be phenomenal. Like, oh my gosh, it would be so beautiful on deep skin tones. Uh, yeah, I just, but I honestly think that a lot of, a lot of skin tones can pull this off. You just have to wear it differently. Um, for me, uh, I like the matte one. I put that one to kind of get my color and then I go over with the shimmer just to give a little bit of the shimmer. And it's, it's a nice shimmer. It's not, um, it's not like glittery or anything. And here's... Here's the matte shade, matte and shimmer. And it, it does have a lot of color payoff, but if you go light, I mean, I'm wearing it now, you can really you can really work with it. And I'm loving it. I'm just been wearing this all the time because it's so pretty. And I think once I get a little bit more of a tan, it'll look even prettier. Um, but being that it's orange and not pink, like I normally wear a bronze, I was kind of tr trying to find um, a lip product that I think would work with it. And I pulled out this that I didn't even remember I had. This is the Revlon, the Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Coral Reef. And it's just perfect. It's what I have on now. It's sheer. It gives you a pop of color that's not pink. It's kind of that corally orange color, but it's beautiful and it works together perfectly. So I've been wearing this together. Um, and then along with my kind of natural skin thing that I've been into, I've been getting into cream blushes, which I've never been into before just because, I don't know, I kind of get in my routine and I, I forget about so many of my other products. I just use the same stuff again and again. So I wanted a really bright, cream product, cream blush, like really bright. Um, not because I want something unnatural, but because the ones that I have are kind of rosier or deeper. And I want something that is really bright because I think it's, it's honestly can be more natural. Um, they can be very scary when you look at them, but if you just put a pop of that on your cheeks, it is such a natural, healthy glow. It gives you that kind of just pinched look um, as opposed to like red, like a reddish look that kind of makes you, I don't know. I just love a pink. I think it's very youthful. Um, but I was so surprised. I thought Sephora would have something that I was looking for and they really they really didn't except for this, which I picked up. Um, it's the Sephora brand cream blush in the color uh, Rose Pop Poppy Pink. I don't know if the color's Poppy Pink and the product's Rose Pop, but it's Rose Pop Poppy Pink. This is what it looks like. And it's like domed, it almost reminds me kind of like the bouncy blush, but it's not, I don't even have that, but it's not actually bouncy, but it's kind of, it's a cream and it's like a cream to powder product. It kind of goes on in a powdery, but I thought I'd try it. Um, I kind of wanted it for a natural finish, but it kind of does look like it has a dewy finish. Um, and I would top it with a powder anyway, but this is the brightest I could find. Uh, I wanted it like light and bright, and this is what I could find. I just was really surprised there weren't other options, but that's what I picked up. And then, um, Going along with the Pantone Universe, I already showed you this, but this is the nail polish collection. You know I couldn't pass this up. This um, four nail polishes in the color of the year, and they are all in the same color, that Tangerine Tango. But the packaging is just amazing. I mean, I almost, I've got like hair sticking to this. I almost don't want to take it out of the packaging. So it's a shimmer. You can see this one is kind of a shimmer. It's, and I've tried all of these. I haven't worn them in full manic manicures, but I've swatched them. Uh, the shimmer is almost more like a jelly, but it's just so pretty and fresh and clean looking. And then it's a matte, and then it's a cream, and then it's the glitter, which is just in a clear base. So I just think this is so fun. And I tried all these different layerings and combinations. And I love the cream. The matte is okay. Uh, I think it when you have that shine it brightens it up and makes it look fresher i think the matte in this color is a little dull looking more like of a pumpkin orange and that's not really what i want um but what what i love is i i tried like the shimmer on its own and it's pretty sheer which is pretty if you're looking for that kind of jelly shimmer look um but 
two coats of the cream topped with the shimmer is so pretty and just brightens it up even more. Um, I just love all the combinations you could do. You could do uh, like all cream nails with the glitter on an accent nail. You could do all glitter nails. You can do the matte nails with a shimmer accent nail. Um, cream nails with the matte accent. I mean, you can just do so many accent nails with this. I just am so excited about it. And for the price, this wasn't bad. I want to say it was $24, but you get four and then it was 15% off. But I mean, if you compare that to, you know, most other, you know, higher end nail polish brands, that's not bad at all. And then the last thing that I picked up is a refill product. Uh, this is Philosophy Amazing Grace perfume. It's just so fresh. I seriously am in love with this scent. Like, it is just so nice if you just want something really fresh and really clean, not florally, not fruity. It's just kind of that soap, clean water scent. I just love it. Um, and this is great to touch up with throughout the day. It like even if I put on, you know, Marc Jacobs Daisy or something like that, if throughout the day I don't feel weird spraying this over it at all if I need something fresh because it's not gonna clash, it doesn't overpower, and it just smells like so clean. So I love it. So I talked way too much in this video, but I wanted, I just felt bad. I haven't filmed a video in so long since uh, the first of the month. And I, I normally like to film a lot more than that, but I've just been insanely busy and haven't had a chance. And it's nighttime. I don't even like to film at night because of the lighting, but this is the only time I had. And I really wanted to get this in. So I want to know what you got if you bought anything at Sephora with that 15% off, which is awesome. And if you got any of these things, let me know what you think and uh, what you got. And I will talk to you guys later. So see ya.